Jimmy Carter. Yeah. And let's check in with Storm yeah. Team forecaster Brian Goddard. Uh, we just got an email, Brian, from the county. County Executive Chris Abley has ordered a couple of those splash pads and waiting pools to yeah. <laughs> open back up because they had closed, what was that, last week? Yeah. Right? Well, little, they're back open. A little early this Not year. Not all of them. You want to check ahead, but a yeah. couple of them are back open yeah. because of the heat. Yeah, I know schools are going back into session, but you know, we're not done with summer yet. I know most of the summer felt kind of like a fall kind of summer, but uh, it's, it's not done yet. And we can typically see 90s uh, into September as well. And it looks like we might start September with a few 90s as well. Taking a look at Viper, we had this huge area of rain coming out of the north uh, and never severe, just more heavy downpours for the Fox River Valley that seems to just getting pounded almost every other day over the past couple of weeks with severe weather or heavy rains. It has fizzled out and now moving out over the lake. We still have the cloud cover from this, and this is helping kind of slow down our warming throughout the day. We're still in the low 80s across most of the region, but we are seeing that cloud cover. It will become more hazy sunshine throughout the afternoon. To the graphics will go, and you can see that cloud cover out in Waukesha. The temperature at the noon hour uh, is 77 degrees, dew points in the mid 60s, so it's really not all that hot and humid out there right now. It, you can feel the humidity, but it's not unbearable outside by any means. It's 84 in Kenosha, 81 in Port Washington, 83 in Watertown, 86 in Janesville. I think it's hot here, which it really isn't. To the west, they can complain. We're talking near triple digit heat from La Crosse out toward the Twin Cities where they have excessive heat warnings from La Crosse to Rochester to the Twin Cities. 100 today and tomorrow out in La Crosse. 95 in the Twin Cities. 93 for tomorrow in Madison and 85 in Rhinelander with some scattered rain showers around. Tonight, there's going to be a chance for some severe weather developing back out into the Plain States, into Minnesota, and possibly moving into the west central part of Wisconsin. We could see a few of those lingering showers late tonight into early tomorrow morning, but not looking to have severe weather here locally. Chances for a rain on Tuesday, mainly to the north of us. We'll have a scattered chance in the afternoon with the heat and humidity, but the high pressure in the middle part of the country keeping us warm and humid. The humidity up to around uh, dew point, I should say, is 68. So you can feel the humidity. It is tropical just to the south and to the west of us, though, and that will be rolling in here for the next couple of days. So yes, it will be humid out there Tuesday, even Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Despite a cold front coming through, we really don't dry things out too much, but we do cool the temperatures down just a bit. Upper 60s to lower 70s for overnight low temperatures. An isolated chance of a shower toward the morning hours left over from those storms out west later tonight. And then with the afternoon heating tomorrow, we're talking low 90s around the area. 93 in Milwaukee, 95 in Janesville, 92 in Beaver Dam. We will see some scattered showers and thunderstorms start popping up. We're obviously in the warm sector of this storm system. The heaviest rains will stay to the north along these fronts, and we just get these scattered pop-up storms. But then Tuesday night into Wednesday, that front moves through. We'll see a little bit better chance of rain Tuesday evening. Hot and humid today. That isolated chance of a shower high of 90. 71 tonight. Some scattered storms well after midnight moving in from the west. The seven day forecast. 93 Tuesday. We stay in the 80s through the week and it will be humid as well with a few showers Friday and Saturday. We're back after this.